Okay, welcome and congratulations to getting to the end of the Grammar That Transfers online professional learning course. Uh, we're excited to have you here and you've made it through all of the units and so now you're on to the last unit. So keeping that in mind, remember in your course structure, you're probably back at your course homepage as you can see here. And what you need to do is select that last unit which is the post assessment. And we're just going to walk through some of the requirements and guidelines that you need to make sure you have this last unit under wraps and you can get your last information put in order. You'll notice in this particular last unit, the post assessment unit, <coughs> that you have uh, two uh, different lessons here. The first lesson is really just helps you figure out how you can actually get to the grammar that transfers work that we discussed. Currently those resources are there for you to go and explore further. That's the first lesson to look at. The next lesson just below that then is really the one that this video will be located in that kind of captures that. So I'm going to view that lesson and bring that up. So as it's coming up, it's going to be very important that you read through this uh, teacher introduction, but most importantly, you will want to really look at this lesson summary so that you get an idea of what you need to complete the course, especially if you're looking for the clock hours. So uh, right here you'll see that you need to do the post assessment. We'll come back to that in a second. But you also need to make sure that you have finalized and shared the online, uh, the grammar that transfers online learning portfolio. Directions for that were there, so make sure that's submitted. That acts as your time log and as a way to kind of record some of your thinking and understanding and ideas throughout the course. So that's one piece is that online learning portfolio. A second piece is filling out the sketch form. You'll see the link here, and also if you see I scroll down, uh, you'll see that there is a link to the actual uh, grammar that transfers sketch form. Make sure when you get that form, you get the original form, fill it out and sign it, and you're going to need to mail that form in with your five dollar sketch fee and then we will get that processing so I need the online learn polio portfolio completed with your name typed in and the hours logged I need the sketch form application filled out with five dollars mailed to me and you will see the directions for that on your online learn prof learning portfolio as well as in here and then the last thing you're going to do is to complete that post test and you're going to notice as it shares here that the post test consists of two parts one part of the post test is that it's going to be a reflection on some way that you've used either a grammar, a grammar mini lesson that was provided or one that you uh, put together yourself but just reflect on how that worked for your students and if you don't have a classroom um, try it with uh, a colleague or a, or a colleague's uh, child or your own child just or in your uh, if you're attending class just some way that you can try out that grammar lesson and then reflect on how did that go and what did that came of that and then the second part is a series of 10 multiple choice questions where what we're doing is having you reflect it's a retrospective evaluation so we're going to have you reflect on your understanding of the objectives for this course so your first five multiple choice questions that are going to be in that assessment are going to be on a scale of one to four, one being you have the most knowledge to four being the least confident. Um, you will answer how you feel around each of those objectives on how you feel now at the end of the course. The next five questions after that will then be how you felt about those same objectives at the beginning of the course on that same scale. So we'll have you go through and fill that out. And again, to find that post-test, once you've gone through this, uh, you can go back to course. Again, you're on the post-assessment, and you see the unit post-test is down here. So good luck finishing up that uh, sketch form and getting that mailed in, uh, getting the online portfolio filled out, and then going through this last post-test piece. Thank you so much for being a part of our online professional development and learning courses here at Kent ISD, and we hope to see you in the future. All right, take care.